Alright guys, a little bit of a Mac tutorial for you today. Um, I'm using an iBook G4. This is an iBook G4. And uh, as you can see right there, scrolling down, iBook G4. So I'm not lying to you, this is running on Tiger iOS. Uh, well, not iOS, my apologies. OS X. I'm so used to doing iPods. Um, but uh, basically, I want to wipe and reinstall OS Tiger on this. Now you can do a wipe and reinstall uh, two ways. You can <clears throat> either A, you can use the Tiger, the uh, OS X Tiger 10.4 upgrade disc. You can use that. Or you can use a simple flash drive, which is uh, packed away. But uh, the flash drive is what I'm going to be using in this case because this, believe it or not, is a computer I'm working on and I'm um, going to sell it uh, while I'm working on it for my boss. And uh, so I decided to take it home and uh, show you guys how to do this while I had the materials at hand. So uh, basically I'm going to show you how to wipe a administrator password on your MacBook. Uh, this will also work with Snow Leopard and uh, I think Lion as well. So I, I think it works with all of them. But um, anyways. <clears throat> um, we're going to have to open up Terminal on the boot of the Macintosh and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, uh, and there will be titles across the screen and shit on what you have to type. So yeah, let's, uh, let me just get prompted here and we'll get started on that. Alright, so as you can see right here I got this little flash drive. This is what I have the Tiger OS X on and uh, this is what I'm going to be using. And uh, simply, I'm just going to show you real quick. I take this flash drive here, I'm going to plug it into the side of the computer. I'm going to plug that in like so, and it's going to come over here to the right, I believe, once it detects it. And day now, Macintosh. There we are, the no name. Open it up, and you will see that I have the Tiger 10.4.3. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using. So, uh, basically I'm just going to double click on that and show you real quick. Uh, it'll extract the files. Opening Tiger 10.4.3. And it's going to open up and you're going to see the install Mac OS X. So I'm just going to double click on that and it's going to come to the uh, Mac OS X Tiger. And it's going to go to restart and it's going to ask for your administrative password. Well, judging that this was a computer that we bought from somebody, and uh, or if you buy a Mac from a third-party source, for an example, like eBay or something like that, this is what you're going to run into. Now, obviously, you're not going to know that password, so what you're going to have to do is hit cancel, obviously. So, we're going to hit cancel, and this is what I'm going to have you do. Simply, all you want to do right now is press the power button on your Mac, and you're going to see the turn-off prompt come up. And it's going to say restart, sleep, cancel, or shut down. So you're going to hit restart. Now after this restarts and it goes to just a plain blue screen, I want you to hold down the command or the Apple key and the S key at the same time. So once this goes blue, hold down the command key and the Apple key at the same time. <clears throat> you will hear the volume take effect, the Apple boot sound or whatever and the Macintosh Apple should come up on the screen. There it comes, right there. Alright, so your terminal will come up now and uh, basically what it's going to do is um, <clears throat> you're going to need to type up some commands for this to do. So, first thing you want to do is you want to check the file system first. So what you want to type is FSCK, so FSCK, put a space and a dash with FY. I will have this written on the top of the video screen here so you can see clearly. Uh, this is just showing the process working again. But uh, then hit the enter or return key. It's going to check all the things that need to be checked, so basically your file system. So allow that to run through with the checking. Alrighty, now you will see the command come up. The local host colon slash root number. So now what you're going to want to do is type this next command because you're going to need to mount the root device as writable so that changes will save. So you're going to write 
this. And again, I will have this written at the top of the screen here in the video. So, uh, yeah, and excuse my hands for getting in the way, but I need to type this, and I can't exactly screen record this from inside the computer. So, uh, what you're going to type now is mount, so M-O-U-N-T, and you're going to hit space, and then dash U W, and these are all lowercase, by the way, and then space, and then a slash, and hit the return or enter key. Now it's going to come up with the prompt again with the local host colon slash root number and you're going to need to type the following command and hit the enter or return key. So this is what we're going to type right here, rm and you're going to hit space, a slash and then var, var, slash and then db, db, slash and then period and then apple, a-p-p-l-e setup s-e-t-u-p and then done d-o-n-e and just simply hit enter or return and then it should come up with command prompt again with a localhost colon slash root number after you have done that all you're going to do now is say reboot so r-e-b-o-o-t reboot and hit the return and it'll sync and here we go. So now it is rebooting. And once this reboot takes place, we are going to have to create a new user account upon system boot. So here it comes up now. Booting the system. And your computer should actually start talking to you like you just bought it. And here it comes. So you're going to select the United States. And then say do not transfer my information unless you have other information and shit that you want to save. Just hit continue. And the United States or wherever. Continue. And uh, connect to your network. So I'm going to connect to the wireless right now. Hit continue. configuring your computer and then you can enter your Apple ID enter the Apple ID and hit continue it may say it's not available so there you go and then just fill out the registration information so I gotta go do this now once you fill all that out just hit continue where you primarily use this computer, I'll just select home for now and uh, I'll just put video and film stay in touch, I like to uncheck that because you can do that in your own time and then just continue, so this is where you write the password, so I'm just going to say um, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, just so I remember it 1, 2, 3, A, B, C and password hint, dumb all I'm gonna say so continue after you create your password and then here on the map you can just pretty much click anywhere on the map on where you're at and uh, Boston is close enough for me so continue today's date it'll show the time and date if that looks about right to me I don't really care and then just select done and then your OS X should come up and boot Now again, this is a good way to just refresh your Mac, 
and also if you've forgotten your password be sure to back up data on your Mac if you have any data at all before you do this process because you will lose everything um, you can also transfer files when you do recoup this uh, it'll transfer the files from the last partition that was on here other than that it'll wipe it completely so here we are here's the new Mac get the hell out of my way and there you go so that's how you change your password and as you can see now I can wait like 10 seconds for this fucking thing to power on with the there it is open up my USB Tiger and I can go and run the installation for Tiger 4.3 so thanks for watching I hope this helps you there will be descriptions with inside this video as well as in the description below this video so again enjoy and I hope this helps you and uh, yeah so rate comment subscribe which is right at the top of the screen and this is Rob I will talk to you later and I get to go take a shower now so see you guys later take it easy enjoy your password recovery well termination <laughs>